Well, they both make us laugh, but importantly, they both make us think. I'm talking about Archbishop Emeritus Desmond Tutu and Zapiro, the renowned cartoonist uh, depicting the archer's life and uh, what really has been a career of satirical drawings as far as covering the arch is concerned. Uh, Shapiro was also an active member of the UDF. It's an organization uh, that Tutu was a patron of. It's always such fun when I get a chance to speak to the legend himself, Jonathan Shapiro. Uh, Zapiro, morning. Uh, good to have you with us here on ENCA, telling me off air as well, recovering from a bout of COVID-19. So Zapiro, wishing you all the best with your health as well. You. And uh, I was speaking to uh, everyone on the show earlier saying, tweet me your favorite uh, Zapiro cartoon of Desmond Tutu and one person uh, saying all of them. I mean, what a career it's been to be able to cover and to, and to draw one of the most iconic figures uh, in the country. I mean, first, before we talk about cartoons, uh, I mean, how did you feel when you heard the news on Sunday morning? Uh, I was so sad. And well, one of the reasons that I was so, I mean, of course, so sad for the arch himself, who I was lucky enough to know and I, I, I met uh, Mamvia um, a, a few times with him too. I mean, we were just, a, a, he's just the most wonderful, wonderful person. But I was also quite sad that he didn't get to see this wonderful exhibition that has been prepared. Um, that, that, that or maybe he saw, I, I'm, I'm assuming that he got to see some of the, the uh, what was being prepared, but the, uh, the opening hadn't happened. It, it's at the, uh, the foundation, his foundation in in, uh, in Cape Town. There's going to be this absolutely wonderful exhibition, which they they've also included a lot of cartoons and and um, and all sorts of things about his life. But uh, I, I look, I'm sure he got to to see it. He he knew how much the world valued him. At at the same time. There have always been so many people who are his detractors on particular issues um, because he took such a fantastically clear moral stance on everything. So there were always people who who, who couldn't take the heat of his searing criticism. And, um, you know, he just he looked at those things. Uh, I, it's, uh, um, I, I, I love the fact that he was able to take... Uh, the, the kind of joking that a cartoonist does, which, uh, for example, about his sort of the, the religious aspect of him. I mean, I'm somebody who's born Jewish and very secular, not and uh, very irreverent. And I made jokes about him walking on water. I made jokes about him <laughs> offering up a prayer to God saying, you know, uh, remember that the people who did this, you know, these terrible apartheid atrocities are also your children. And God says, let, let me get back to you on that yeah, one. Yeah. Uh, you know, I made those kind of jokes. And, and he would always, he, he, he loved the humor. He loved the cartoons. And, and he would, in, in fact, we, we did a puppet of him for the Zanus based on my cartoons. And he grew to love that puppet voiced by Nick Rabinovitz so much that I promise this is true. On a, more than one occasion, when he couldn't do a, a gig for his um, AIDS foundation, he couldn't be there, he asked the puppet to stand in for him. That's the kind of sense of humor that he had. Uh, it's, it's difficult when we're busy looking at a lot of your cartoons on air now. And as you mentioned, that uh, one where, he's, uh, where you satire uh, him talking to God and God says, uh, let me get back to you. It actually flipped up as you were talking about it. Uh, yeah. Talk about good timing. But I, I mentioned this yesterday when I was looking at the headlines in some of the newspapers. Uh, people will always say uh, that uh, a picture is worth a thousand words, but your cartoons, I can almost hear his voice uh, in your little speech bubbles. And that's just how iconic uh, he was as well. So, I mean, do you have a favorite? Does one stand out for you trying to land the big one, the TRC and the Groot Crocodile, and, and that's flipping up now? Do you have one that you look back and go, if I had to choose one on the front cover of my, of my sure. book, what, do you have one? I, I mean, maybe the, the, the TRC the TRC cliff uh, drawing that the, the one that's in color where it was truth and reconciliation and the oops that that oops moment where he's yeah. leading everybody up the, you know you see the perpetrators and you see the the victims and the media and the and it's the road map trying, one, isn't it? It, it well yeah he's got a little map and he's yes. and and he says oops and you know suddenly he realizes that the that the you got to a lot of truth but there's this big yawning gap before reconciliation and that's going to be a lot harder perhaps that's one there's actually another one that i i mean that i didn't even put in this 
bunch because I, I, I was sort of uh, calling them out from uh, memory. And there's one that I kind of forgot to put on, which I really rate as well. And that is one where he is standing kind of also looking up to the heavens. And, and he's, he's, uh, there's these tablets that appear from, from heaven. And, you know, so I, I play with his kind of speaking with God, even though I'm not at all religious. And it says, it says, cut thy salaries, stop thy arms trade. And there's, there's these sort of union buildings underneath and these fat cats walking around and saying, yeah. Desmond's pulling rank again. And, uh, and, and, and that one for me, that was 1994. I did that cartoon, and and that for me is also one of my favorites uh, yeah, because it's, yeah. it's, it's, that's how he, he called things out. He just called them as he saw them, and he was totally right all the time. Did he uh, ever get on the phone with you uh, as Zapiro, the cartoonist, and go, I think you went a bit far on this one? No, 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 no. I mean, ne never. Look, you know, there's also a big difference between um, – I, I, I was speaking on a, a, a radio station yesterday, and I was talking about the, the fact that I was asked whether I did critical cartoons of him. I didn't do critical cartoons about him, as opposed to Madiba, who was, you know, I had the privilege of doing these two great icons, uh, some of it, you know, simultaneously. And of course, he lasted longer than, and he was younger than Madiba. But, um, but I did do critical cartoons of Madiba because Madiba was. Um, was linked to a political party. He was linked to real politic by, you know, being in government. And the Arch, without ever taking away from the fact that he had absolute moral courage and, and, and uh, spoke truth to power as he saw it, uh, the, the one thing that's different is that he was never in government. He was yeah. never linked, you know, he was never directly linked to a political party. In fact, he called out the ANC um, at, at, at various times as well. Uh, but so that is a difference, you know, and, and so that's, and it wouldn't be the kind of thing that he would do. He would never, uh, you know, get on the phone and say, yeah, you've gone yeah, too far. Yeah. He just was not that kind of person at all. Uh I just want to leave this with you as my last question. Just a brief answer, if you, if you don't mind, uh, Zapira. You and I could talk all day about this. Uh, you mentioned earlier about a, uh, an event where uh, you'd hope the Archbishop was around to see it. I know a lot of people off the back of this conversation are going to want to start seeing all your cartoons uh, of the Archbishop. Is there one place you can send people where they can just sort of scroll for the next half an hour and just go through your work before I say goodbye? Well, um, the Daily Maverick uh, archive has a lot of uh, a, a lot of the cartoons, and also um, the period dot com, the the, the uh, my my site. Um, there, there should be lots of things that people can see. But I'm I'm really hoping that people very soon will be able to see things also on the wall. Uh, um, I mean, so much wonderful stuff about the, about the arch at this. Uh, it, the, 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 the exhibition will open uh, next year. I'm not sure when exactly, but um, yeah, so that, uh, there, there's so much to think about about him and, and about his life and his legacy. What, an, what I mean, he, he called every single issue, whether it was you know gay rights or gender rights or uh, you know or uh, Myanmar or Zimbabwe or. Uh, Israel Palestine, which yeah, yeah. Um, uh, anything uh, the apartheid uh, about reparations about uh, the, the ANC corruption, uh, he just called everything, and there's so much to think about. We really owe him a lot. Uh, I've just uh, uh, been asked to ask you a very good question. Actually, I didn't even think of this, and I'm so glad uh, my producer asked me to ask this. Uh, this will be my last question, I promise. Uh, is there going to be a, a last two-two cartoon? Well, I, I'm uh, sort of a, away from things at the moment, recovering from COVID, and um, I haven't had a, much of a chance to kind of really. Uh, I've really been sort of compiling things that I've done before, so I'm not. I, I, I'll have to see what I can, what I can do. I must. I will do something, at, uh, but I'm not sure if it will be within the next few days. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, of course, uh, of course, they're expecting something from Zapira. Uh, Jonathan, all the best with your recovery. I'm so glad you're doing okay off the back of uh, COVID-19 uh, as well. Jonathan Shapiro, Zapira, uh, as it were. So don't spend your morning uh, busy surfing Instagram or TikTok or whatever you're on. Go and look for some of the great work uh, from Jonathan Shapiro uh, uh, and known as Zapiro and the work he's done on the late Archbishop Emeritus Desmond Tutu. It's well worth you spending half an hour or so just going through uh, all of that. All right, just before